circles in Minecraft? Let's do this. Hello again, Skunk Monkey here, and this is my test world, and as I was going around in here looking at some of the builds, I thought, you know what? There are some resources that I have found in my years of playing Minecraft, and I wanted to share them with you guys, because they've helped me out, they helped me build a lot of... Okay, that just looks kind of weird. They have a lot of these interesting and, in my opinion, cool builds, and I thought I'd share them with you guys. And the very first one I wanted to tell you about... It seems obvious, but it is the Minecraft Wiki. And the Minecraft Wiki has loads of information, loads of different uh, different things about the blocks and about lighting and about crafting and everything you need to know about the basic game is right there in the Wiki. And if you don't frequent it, then you either don't know about it or you are really, really good at Minecraft because I go there all the time. It helps to remind me of things that I've forgotten. It can help you rem remind you about brewing, about uh, ticks, about oh, so many things. So if you guys don't know about it, go check it out. The next one I want to tell you about is plots. Now here in front of me, you can see this sea urchin that I made uh, from Mario and you may notice that it is spherical in shape, which is an amazing thing to do in Minecraft. Plots is the place to get this information. All you have to do is put in like the diameter of the circle and it will give you step by step, well actually gives you line by line of going up and around how to build it. And it's not just for spheres. They've got ellipses. They've got uh, toruses, which is basically like donuts. They've got wizard towers, they've got uh, all sorts of things, snowmen, lighthouse, observatory, a you know, bunch of different things, and you can change the different size, and it will tell you all the different blocks that you need, um, where they need to go to make it look proper. So that is a really, really cool resource. The next thing I use, I do in um, my survival, especially when I'm racing to defeat ender dragons, and that is the Stronghold Finder. Now, the Stronghold Finder is a really amazing website that, honestly, if it wasn't for their Stronghold Finder, I would be wasting a lot of time trying to find strongholds in Minecraft. It's so simple. It gives you step-by-step -step instructions on throwing the Eye of uh, Enders, seeing which direction it goes, giving you... Uh, where you should go next to throw it again, and then telling you almost perfectly where the stronghold is located. So it is an amazing tool that if you play Survival Minecraft and you want to be able to get to the, uh, the, the end and defeat the dragon, this is the tool for you. The next thing I use is the Nether Portal Calculator, and this is made by, I believe, Maven Spun, and it is an amazing tool uh, so the way that the overworld and the nether works is that the overworld is eight times as big as the nether. So for every one block in the nether is eight blocks in the overworld. And if you want to link up two portals, you can put them at exact coordinates and they will link. And this nether portal calculator will help you understand where they need to go. So you'll put in like the coordinates in the overworld and it'll tell you where it goes in the nether or vice versa. And it's really amazing. I highly recommend it. If you're playing in survival and you want to make sure that your uh, all your portals are linked up properly, this is an amazing tool for that. The next website that I frequent a lot is Planet Minecraft. And if you haven't checked out Planet Minecraft, go check it out. There is something for everyone there. They've got data packs. They've got resource packs. They've got regular maps. They've got... Uh, all sorts of different things they even have you know they got like forums and stuff like that and also competitions where you can enter uh like for skins and builds and all sorts of different things and i have a page there where i post stuff every once in a while i like to go there to find data packs uh, which is where a lot of the data packs that i do in my uh, data pack showcase come from so planet minecraft is amazing 
if you tried to even just see all of the information in there, it would take you probably years because there's so much. So go there and check that out. The last website I wanted to mention is Minecraft Maps. Now, Minecraft Maps is a place that I go to every once in a while, not quite as often as the rest. And Minecraft Maps is really amazing, though, because they've got so many different types of maps available that other people have made and uploaded, and you can download and play them. They've got uh, maps that are parkour maps. They've got puzzle maps, adventure maps, uh, survival maps, uh, so many different things. And you you can search through them. You can search through them by the uh, Minecraft version that you're using, uh, what type of map you want, and they'll give you a list of them. And then on each one of the, <coughs> excuse me, on each one of the uh, maps, it will give you a little bit of a description of it. And also people rate them so you can see how well uh, other people have liked them. So it's pretty cool. And if you're ever looking for something to do in Minecraft, you're not really sure, you're like, hey, let's hop on there, check out a map, and, you know, download it and play around with it. And it's, it's a lot of fun. So, yeah, those are some Minecraft resources that you can find online to help you out in your game. And, like I said, I use these all the time. They're really helpful, especially when you just want some information and you don't remember exactly what it is. Go to these websites, find them. Uh, find out the information and yeah, it's it's pretty cool stuff. So a uh, link to all of these different pages will be in the description. And if you take my suggestion, I would bookmark them because it's really nice to be able to get back to them in a hurry. And they're so important that, you know, there's they're something that you should be able to get back to pretty quick if you need it. But if you guys like the video, please leave a like, consider subscribing, turn on those notifications. You can follow me on Twitter. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Until next time.